Okay, uh, so we were looking at how to evaluate our model and we saw these three performance indicators, performance measures, accuracy, recall and precision and we had a detailed discussion about that. Now what we are going to do is uh, uh, we are going to interpret the betas. We are going to interpret the regression coefficients. Remember uh, in MLR, what was the interpretation of our regression coefficient? In MLR, uh, what do I mean by regression coefficient? The betas, beta naught, beta 1, beta 2, beta 3. Beta naught is intercept, so let's not worry about that. Beta 1, x1, beta 2, x2. Therefore, beta 1 is uh, uh, linked to first exponential variable. Beta 2 is linked with second exponential variable. What was the interpretation of beta 1, beta 2 in MLR? Recall that. So the interpretation of uh, beta 1 was keeping all the other exponential variables fixed. One unit change in x1 changes y variable by how much? That is what is indicated by beta or beta 1. For logistic regression, obviously, the interpretation is going to be different. Right. So uh, uh, essentially in MLR, the regression coefficients are the change in the response variable with the unit change in the corresponding exponatory variable keeping all the other exponatory variables constant. So those were called partial slope. Right. Uh, so betas were called partial slopes. In the logistic regression, the interpretation is different. It is similar but uh, different because now we are talking about log of odds. Our response variable is not direct value of y. Our response variable is log of odds. It is not linear. So how do you interpret the betas in case of logistic regression? So we say that one unit change in exponatory variable brings about beta change in the log of odds, not beta change in the value of y because here the y value of y is only 0 and 1. So we are going to say that one unit change, one jump in CGPA in MBA program from 7 to 8 or 8 to 9 brings about beta change in the log of odds. Okay, so if the exponatory variable changes by one unit, the odds of the odds of uh, y is equal to one increases by ten to the power of uh, beta. If we are using log to the power base of ten, if we take uh, uh, natural log, uh, there is a typo here. If we take the natural log, the odds actually increase with a factor of e to the power of beta. So for our example, the regression coefficient uh, for the MBA CGPA was uh, 3.27, beta 1 was 3.27. So how do you interpret this 3.27? We say that one unit increase in uh, one unit increase in CGPA of MBA student increases the odds of the student, odds not the probabilities, odds of the student getting placed increases by 26.31. Okay, increases by 26.31. Remember, this is the prediction on the odds of the probability, odds of success, not the probabilities themselves. Okay, the probability that the student will get placed also would have increased because the CGPA in MBA program has increased. We saw the plot in the last session, right? If the probability, if the CGPA in the MBA program increases, the probability that the student will get placed also increases. But remember that we are not estimating or we are not interpreting in terms of probability we are interpreting in the uh, in the context of odds so we are saying one unit increase in cgpa increases the odds of student getting placed by 26.31 that is how you interpret the in regression coefficients in a logistic regression setup with that let us end the session and uh, obviously we are going to continue with an example of this in python and that should give you more insights. So I am closing this session now.